Welcome back to Scala Meal. Today we prepare a rolled spinach. So we will roll the spinach with eggs, then we use parmigiano, then carrot, then breadcrumbs, some fine salt, some pepper. Then as extra tools you need a towel and then some cooking thread to fix everything. For the quantity of spinach, you can get fresh spinach and boil them in salted water or you can use frozen spinach, defreeze them and use them. Because anyway, now we need soft one and we are going to chop them irregularly, but they have to be chopped to become a little bit fine. So that's what we are going to do right now. At the same time, we are hard boiling two eggs and cooking the carrot so the carrot is going to be already a little bit softer when we have to use it but we can do the same thing at the same time we are chopping them we are preparing these ingredients and then we get our hard boiled eggs and the carrot so you see just chop this one okay then we fix everything in a bowl They are. Okay, then we add three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. One, two, and three. We mix them a little bit then we add three tablespoons of grated parmigiano you see here and then again three eggs whole eggs And then we will add some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, it's always up to you how much, depends if you like very salty or not. Anyway, we usually consider <coughs> that like a half tablespoon, uh, teaspoon, sorry, of salt is enough. And then some grated pepper. Then we mix this all together to form a kind of dough that we'll cook later all together with the other hard boiled eggs and the carrots. We have to mix it well so the eggs really mix perfectly well with the spinach and we'll keep them in shape. The parmigiano, salt and pepper are really very good for the taste. The breadcrumbs are useful to keep everything in shape, you can use also gluten-free um, breadcrumbs. Here it's mixed. We get the mixture of the spinach we prepared. Here it is. And we spread it on our rag towel, whatever is proper to cook in boiling water. That's what we are going to do. So we spread it here. Try to be as regular as possible. I mean that it has to have the same flatness so it will cook better. Don't worry very much about this external part because anyway now we are going to roll everything, okay? Then you see we have two hard boiled eggs in front of us and a carrot that was cooked. Mm. And now that's what we are going to do here. We are going to have our hard boiled eggs here and the carrot in the middle. Then you can decide as you like. Eh? That's a very personal decision how to do the thing. Then that's why the towel or the rag you can more easily 
roll everything and close the secret eggs and carrots in it. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Okay, because the eggs take more space for sure. But we want to close them in so we can push a little bit on the side to get some of the spinach back into here to close everything. And doing with a towel or with a rack, it's much easier than doing with the hands. Everything is more precise. Okay. So our eggs and carrots are hidden inside. Then we can close everything now. And this gives us the possibility of rolling it. And then we close it and now that's when we need <coughs> the thread just to fix it in a simple way that will give us the possibility of cooking in boiling water. Sorry, just a moment. Okay, here we are. <laughs> of course, I forgot to find my scissors. Okay. Here we are again. That's enough. We don't need so much, but just to close it. Then we get our container, our pot, and we fix it. We are going to cover it with water and cook it. Okay, so we are covering it with water and cook it 30 minutes. During the 30 minutes, let's say every 20, 10 minutes, flip it to be sure that it cooks completely in the same way. So, you see, it's not completely covered with water, so you don't need a big, big pot. But anyway, after 10 minutes, we are going to flip it simply like this, so it will cook on each side properly. Now, our roll, spinach roll, is ready. We took it out of the pot and let it cool because it's much better to slice when it's cool. So we open it and then we have to slice to serve. Okay, just like this. Okay, here we are. This is our roll. Okay. Voila, this is the roll. Then we slice it and serve it on a dish next uh, to some fish, uh, to some meat, uh, by itself, absolutely as you like. Some slices are just spinach, and that can be good for those who like only the spinach. And then all at once we find our egg here. And then after the egg, we find the carrot surprise. So really, the filling can be whatever you like. Usually for us, it's really this thing of carrots and egg. And now our roll is ready. In this case, we are serving on the dish by itself, but you could have next to something else. Bon appetito.